Hey there everyone, this is Danielle, playing some City Skylines. I have played this game before, uh, I haven't played the Switch version though, so I'd like to see how they've translated it across to a console. Uh, basically, it's 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 a SimCity clone essentially, but it's a lot better than the more recent SimCity games, which have been not so great. Uh, we'll see how this version goes though, because I've not played this version, we'll see if it's still good. Uh, hopefully it is. Paradox Interactive made it. I don't know how they're going to they're going to translate it across to you know having Joy Cons instead of a mouse and keyboard like in the regular version of the game. It's taking a while to get past this logo. Um, I'm pressing some buttons; don't seem to do anything, so I guess I just have to wait. It's probably loading some stuff in the background. It's taking a really long time, actually. Jeez. Mm. Here we go. Off the rails, don't you know it's time to raise our sails? It's freedom like you never knew. Don't need bags or a pass, say the word, I'll be there in a flash. You could say my hat is off to you. Oh, we can zoom all the way to the moon from this great wide wacky world. Jump with me, grab coins with me, oh yeah. This is taking a really long time, jeez. Is it working? Did you just get stuck there? What's going on? This isn't a great first impression. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, so they've loaded some sort of obnoxious privacy policy or whatever. Okay, title screen. Uh, it doesn't look too impressive from the title screen. Hopefully it gets more exciting in-game. Let's see. Oh, these default settings look okay. Oh, I'll use the default control scheme, sure. Default, default. Yep, so the default should be fine. New game. Uh, a bunch of different maps you can go to to build your city. Looks like it's randomizing the names, which is kind of cute. Uh, I'll go with left-hand traffic, since this is, this is Australia where I'm living. Uh, not that it matters too much, it doesn't, I don't think it affects the gameplay, like, at all. Maybe it does. Then again, maybe, maybe it adjusts how traffic congestion works, if you think about it, because turning left becomes easier than turning right. I don't know. Maybe. Well, I'll leave the other ones off, just default that. Uh, that little bird is from the... Bird site parody, basically, which is kind of cute. You can see little uh, posts coming up as you progress, which give you a hint about what you should be working on to improve your city. Uh, it's a cute detail. I feel like there should be some music on this screen, because it's taking a while. Oh. Like in The Sims, you know, whether it's scrolling a little loading thing, but it's playing some nice, nice piano as it's going through that bit. It's completely silent, though. Okay, uh, yeah, let's make some road. How do I control this? Okay, so I'm moving with the left analog to just scroll around. Uh, Alright. So I can highlight roads by just pushing, uh, that's the D-pad there I'm using. So I'm probably going to come over here where it's talking about roads. I want a two-lane road, I think. Okay, so that's two-lane. Let's grab this, and then I want to click here. Oh, that's a little fiddly. I kind of should have just snapped the right spot to continue. Uh, whoa. Um, so yeah, this is working pretty much the way you'd expect. You can just draw a bit of straight line, straight road, and then you can put some more different bits in as you go. Not too complicated. Uh, you press B when you want to cancel out doing that one. Uh, it's a little precise. Can I zoom in or something? Uh, okay, ZL and ZR zooms you in and ZL zooms you back out, so yes, you can do that. Okay, so we've got some roads now. Um, make them the same. Yeah, you can see it's a little fiddly to line up the cursor to the spot you want, which is a bit annoying. 
trying to make these the same length. It doesn't want to happen. So I can connect them, but it's not, it's not happening. Okay, you can zoom in a bit more. I might make it a bit easier. Yeah, it does. Okay, cool. Mm, that'll do. Welcome to, to my town. We have one big curved road. <laughs> um, it's not giving me a tip on what to do next yet. Oh, there we go. Uh, I pressed B out of that, and it said build a road completed. I assume it'll give me a tip on the next part in a second. Uh, maybe it won't. There we are. Residential area. Build some roads for it using the roads tool. Uh, then we're going to make a low density residential zone. So yeah, just like in SimCity, you just zone the areas to say, I want residential stuff here, and I want commercial here, and all that sort of thing. Uh, so let's just make some roads here that we can zone appropriately. There we go. It's a nice little box. I should do the trick. It isn't too tricky, it's just a little hard to get precise movement. Uh, then you have low density residential, so I'm just going to plop it in there. Oh, I see. It's it can't go in the middle there because it's too far from the road. That makes sense. I might need to put some more roads in then. Yeah, I will. I'll, I'll put another road to the middle here. There we go. I can pause and unpause time pressing the left trigger. That's kind of weird, but alright. Um, there we go. A bit more residential zone. Can I fill in these middle parts? Yes, I can. Boop. Uh, again, it's a little fiddly to line up the cursor where you want it. I feel like it should snap to spots that are useful to aim at a bit more often, but it doesn't, so... Uh, I'll make this residential as well. Here we go. Around the outside. There we go. That should do. Uh, we can fast forward, I believe, by holding down the left analog. Yeah, uh, you just hold it, and you can see the speed adjusts as you do that. That's a little fiddly, too. I kind of wish it was just click to change the speed, rather than holding it down to cycle through the different speeds, because it's weird. Uh, you can see some little buildings are now forming. If we zoom in nice and close, you can see uh, this game is quite detailed. You can see lots of little little touches on the houses, and I enjoy that. Um, once they're getting popular, more, more um, popular, they'll be um, they'll have pe like people going around. And if we zoom in, we'll hear noise of people moving around and things like that. It's pretty cool. Uh, Okay, uh, yeah, we have to make electricity. Uh, I'm going to start by building a wind turbine because renewable energy is great. So you just build a turbine. Uh, you can see you don't want to put it too close to everything else because they don't like the noise it makes. So I'm going to plop it over here somewhere. Oh, hang on, dark blue areas. Um, does that mean like over here? Or does it mean near the resident? Residential area. Probably means over here. Let's plop one way over here in the corner, I reckon. Let me put another one next to it. There we go. Then we just use some power lines from there, which we can select with the D-pad. Uh, to wire up from here to over here. Is that enough? Or does that actually like wire a lot of houses? No, that's enough, I think. Uh, no, they're still not powered. Okay, we need a bit more. <laughs> Uh. Wait, are they powered now? Yeah, they are. Okay, so it's traveling between the houses without me adding any more power lines automatically, which is nice. You can see everyone's still thirsty, so it's going to give me a tutorial on that in a second. Uh, yep. So, yeah, we've got to find, a, like, a river or something to pump water out of. There's one over here. I don't know if we're allowed to use that. I think we can use this one, though. So you want to get, let's see, this, where are, where we've got, we've got a water pumping station, which is this sort of thing. And you just want to plop that into the water, somewhere like that. And then you also need uh, a drainage pipe here to pour out garbage into the river, which I'm not a fan of, but that's what we have unlocked right now. Uh, and you want to put that, make sure it's south of, like, it's downstream of the water pump, or else all your water will get contaminated. Uh, I know that already from playing the game before. Uh, then you can just grab some pipe uh, to connect up from these all the way over to where our folks are. Uh, just like that. 
Uh, and we need to put some electricity over there for those to work properly, of course. I don't know if we can connect these pipes to each other. I mean, it logically shouldn't work because the, you know, one's good and one's bad water or whatever. But it looks like it works. So, you know, whatever. Uh, okay, then we need some electricity to power those two new stations. So, uh, we can just run a line from over here somewhere. Let's do the trick. now. That should make sure we have water everywhere. I take a few seconds for it to kick in. Yep. Yep, it's working. I think. Is that close enough? Should be close enough. Yeah, it is. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, some of these places still don't have water. They're probably too far away from where I put the pipe. So yeah, I can just run another pipe across so that they can get the water they need. Uh, run one this sort of direction. That should be the trick. There we go, that should be enough coverage. That should cover everyone, right? You all good now? They should be fine, they're just complaining. <laughs> uh, let me see. Yep, completed, cool. So yeah, we've got some nice little houses here which have electricity and water and all that. And you can hear some bustling suburban life if you zoom in like this. Um, we need an industrial zone now. Uh, apparently, I don't really want one, but, you know, whatever. Industrial. Okay, so we want to put it not too close to residential because industrial zones are noisy. So uh, we're going to put some more road in so I can put it over this direction. Like this. Uh, just cut it down the middle here. There we go. Oh, it says it wants a commercial zone first. Alright, uh, commercial, let's put it here. Make the shops reasonably close to everything else, I guess. But let me put it there? Doesn't look like it. Okay, um... Here? Oh, I think they're on kind of type of zone, that's why it's not working. Um... Hmm. All right, well, there we go. I'll do the trick. Then we'll put the industrial zone over here. There we go. Uh, they're going to need electricity and stuff as well once they start building some buildings. I assume they'll be doing that shortly. It might ask, ask me to fast forward again. I don't know. Uh, you can come on over here and look at these if you want. Uh, cool. Bulldozer. Uh, if you come over, you can see that there's little cars and stuff coming along. There'll probably be some coming into the town soon. Uh, probably. Yeah, it wants me to bulldoze something. Alright. Uh, I don't know where I want to bulldoze. Uh, this piece? There we go. It said it was optional, but I don't know how to skip it, so... <laughs> um, okay, they're starting to build a... Shops and stuff over here. I assume these are shops. Can't really tell yet. Radial menu. Hold down Y to access the radial info menu. Okay, so you hold down the Y button, you can access various things that way. City info. Uh, we mostly have adults, apparently, according to our, our city stats here. Uh, we can look at all our information here. And here's Chirper, which is um, their bird site parody, and you can see. That they're talking about, you know, the stuff that's going on in the city, and you can get some clues about what they think you're doing right and wrong by pe peeking at Chirper, which I think is pretty cool. Uh, okay, yeah, that, look, that looks like some sort of shopping center. Sally's, it looks like. Yeah. Uh, all right. Um, well, I guess the city's ready to go at this point. Uh, we probably need some electricity over here. Oh, no, they're probably fine. Uh, do they have enough water? No. Uh, I might need to run another water pipe this direction just to cover all of that. There we go. Should be fine now. Uh, and over here they might not have enough electricity. I don't know if they're close enough. Yeah, it looks like they're a bit far away, so I'm going to run another 
electrical wire over here. Uh, probably put it here. Looks like it's not connected. I need to. Is that better? Is that working? I should do the trick. Okay, so let me see. We've got a little little sub shopping center here. Looks like they're building like a car park or something. Maybe it's hard to tell. <laughs> Oh, hang on, that could be a food place. Like, it's got a big burger on that sign. Maybe that's actually an eatery and not a supermarket. Pretty big eatery, if that's what it is. Um, well, we can see people's houses are popping up around the place. And how zoned is this? I think there's plenty of zone, zone, zoning there, so that's fine. Uh, you can see over here they're building big factories and stuff, uh, creating pollution. So you gotta watch out for that. Pollution is disgusting. Uh, really wish industrial areas weren't required, but that they are. Uh, let me see. I don't know if that bar at the bottom means demand or like supply, because I've got more blue and orange, but that probably means I don't have enough blue and orange. I'm guessing. Uh, you can put some more industrial over here if you want. And here, there we go. Okay, that place needs some water. My pipe's not running far enough? Oh, I see. Okay, yeah, I need to split it off and make another pipe going this direction. That should cover it. Uh, I think the electricity should be fine because it can just run through buildings. Yeah, everything's powered. Cool. Uh, I'm going to need to add more power generators at some point and more water pumps probably. Uh, since there is a finite supply of those things, as you would expect. Uh, that looks like it's working fine. Um, a bit more commercial zoning, I reckon. Uh, that's probably okay. It looks like the demand is mostly for industrial, so I might want to put a bit more in here. There, there. It's going to remove these trees automatically. A bit sad, but that's the march of progress for you. Uh, I might add a few more roads here just to make it a bit easier to navigate. Uh, rather than having this big long section here that you have to drive all the way across, I could put a few more intersections here and there just to make it a bit less annoying. <laughs> uh, the one here, I reckon. There we go, that should be the trick. Plenty of ways to get back and forth. Uh, be a road there too. There we go. That should be a bit easier to get through. Navigate to all the different places you want to go. Uh, okay, industrial's complaining about money. I don't know what that means. Uh, can I place money somehow? I don't think I can. Uh, hmm. Okay, you can see we're consuming 5 megawatts, but we're producing 16, so we're fine power-wise. Let's have a look at water. That's heating. Uh, water. Our consumption is much, much lower than our production, so we're still totally fine. Uh, probably didn't need two wind turbines. One would have been enough for a while, but oh, we're fine. We can make a few more. Uh, yeah, you can see there's little, little cars hanging out next to all the houses and stuff now as people start to live here, which is cute. So yeah, this isn't too tricky to control. It's a little fiddly trying to put roads exactly where you want them. Uh, I kind of wish it had a bit more of a grid snapping mechanic than the original version, just to compensate for the imprecision of these controls, but it's okay. It's okay. Is it my button? That's what that does. Uh, info views. Okay, you can scroll through these using the uh, D-pad to go to the different types of view. Uh, I wonder about the economy, because people were complaining about that. Not that I particularly care, but you know. There's a lot of noise pollution over there. There's not a lot over here in the residential zone, which is good because residents don't want to have their no noise polluted. 
Fire safety isn't great. I haven't unlocked fire safety yet, so I can't do anything about that. Healthcare's terrible, but I haven't unlocked hospitals yet. Education sucks, but I can't build a school yet. I'm guessing there's a crime stat here too, but there's no way to fix that. They want us to put in cops, so I'm not going to do that. Obviously, because I'm me. Uh, I'm not sure how you check the... Okay, so we need more res residential area by the looks of things. Alright, I can do that. Yeah, I guess those stats... Alright, yeah, that makes sense. Uh, let me see. Well, I mean, I zoned the most residential. I would have thought there would be more of the other stuff I needed, but apparently not. Uh, let's put some more roads in so we can fit in some more area. Uh, let me see. You do sometimes have to, have to punch through people's houses to make room for stuff, which is not great. Uh, if I go over here, I'll be able to stretch out a road like this. And then stretch out a road right here. Uh, and join that up to this road. There we go. And then we can make a couple of blocks here just to put some more houses in. There we go, that's just trick. And then I can just go back to zoning. I'm using up money pretty fast here, but you know, it's okay. I'm having fun. Uh, boop, boop. Is that the right one? Oh, it just turns blue when you select it. Okay, that's conf that's a bit confusing because blue is the color of um commercial. I'm not sure they thought that through. <laughs> so yeah, we just zone out all these areas. Boop, 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 boop. A little annoying to have to target the little tiny spots. Uh, zooming in can help. Good more precision. There we go. That should be the trick. Should be plenty of room for housing. Uh, we probably need to put some power over here. Yes, we do. Uh, maybe not. Maybe it's maybe the buildings that are already there will be enough. Let's see how we go once they start building over here. Uh, I will stretch this uh, water pipe a little bit further. Try to cover some more of this area. There we go. And maybe go over here as well. There we go. That should do the trick. Um, I'm going to fast forward a little bit. So yeah, to fast forward, you have to hold down L until you get to the speed you want and then let go of it. It's weird. <laughs> I don't know why it's like that. Um, Hmm, minus hides the whole bottom bar, which is nice. Plus is pause. Uh, up and down on the deeper don't seem to do anything, which is a bit weird. Is this the inspector? Yeah. Uh, so you can just look at stuff, I think. I'll like hover in one of these buildings, it'll tell me what's going on with the buildings, yeah. Okay. Yeah, and if you tap L once, like ra the L stick once, rather than hold it down, it just pauses the game. So that's how you do that. Uh, I don't know. Okay, suppressing uh, that, suppressing the right stick gives you a little tooltip about the thing you have selected by the looks of things. Uh, zone demand is indicated by the bars. Yeah, but I don't know what they mean. Is it like the, more, the bigger a bar is, the more demand there is? Or the bigger the bar is, the less demand there is? I, I don't know. So we mostly have industrial, so I assume that has the least demand. And there's nothing else from Chirper to give us a hint, so... I guess we're doing okay. Um, the L and R buttons don't seem to do anything. Uh, as I mentioned, ZL and ZR give you zooming, but regular L and R seem to do nothing. That's okay though, they don't need to do anything. Uh, it's unlocked the economy panel, so I can see what my taxes are doing. Um, Alright then. I guess I'm happy with the default settings there. I might need to tweak stuff later. I still don't know what the debad panel down there means. 
Like, is, is it saying we need a little bit of orange and a bit, little bit of green, or is it saying we have enough of those and we need more blue to map balance it out? I did play this game before, but I can't remember. Um, hmm. Yeah, I, I don't know. It doesn't look like they're building anything over here, so I'm guessing they didn't actually need all that housing I put in. Maybe they need more commercial, because my commercial is quite small at this point. Let's try zoning this area as commercial, and also over here. Uh, I don't know if the power will reach. It might. Uh, the water. Uh, I might need another pipe. Okay, I'll just run one along here. There we go. Should do the trick. I wish you set it to unlimited money. I don't really like running out. <laughs> uh, you can see you can zoom out quite far and just see the whole everything, or you can zoom in pretty close and get a get a decent look at what's going on, which is nice. Um, I like all the little details. Um, the resolution's not that great on this version, uh, but it's okay. It's not horrible. I don't know if I can adjust it or anything. Uh, I'll have a quick look. Oh, it doesn't look like it, so that's fine. I, I don't mind. Uh, it looks okay. Alright, so... Are people using that new commercial area I zoned in? I can't tell. It doesn't really look like it. Uh, maybe I need to fast forward a bit and see what happens. Okay, we're at maximum fast forward speed now. If you watch the bottom left corner of the screen, you can see how time is passing. Uh, it looks like it began on like real time, but now I've started fast forwarding, so it's no longer real time, which is which is cute. Um, it's also doing a little bit of a day-night cycle effect, which is pretty cool. Uh, I like how the city looks at night. There's all these lights everywhere. It's pretty. See, it's getting cool because it's night time. Although several days are passing, like quite quickly, so the fact that the day-night cycle is still running much slower than the actual time is a bit strange if you think about it. Okay, so it looks like they didn't really want that residential, like these areas over here. They're not really using them. Uh, I guess what they want is industrial. I mean, that bar is the biggest, so let's make some more industrial areas, I guess. Let's see, if I just carve out some power lines in the way, I don't want to destroy them. Let's see. Different tools available. Oh, I press Y here, and ooh, okay, okay, so if I go curved like this, I can go, uh, let's see, this is a bit weird. Uh, this is the same as in the other version, but I always had some trouble understanding what it was going to do. That'll do. Put a curved road around like that, and we can just drop in a few more uh, industrial zones here and there. Yeah, but they probably, probably want more industrial, because there just isn't that much of it. Well, we unlocked some stuff. Uh, I now have garbage and health and education, which is all very exciting. Uh, I believe you just have to place those buildings rather than zone for them, which is a bit different. Uh, but it, it makes sense, I suppose. Uh, just switch that back straight. Yeah, I think that curved robe was a really good idea. <laughs> I can probably do something with it though. I run it this way? Yeah. Yeah, run it out here. And then I have an extra road to work with. A little bit further. And then run it under the line like this. There we go. Okay. I made some people sad by putting that road there. I'm sorry, people.
I think I have, yeah, there's a bunch of different tools you can use to put out zones. So instead of filling a whole section, you can paint the individual squares in. I don't know if you'd want to. It seems a bit silly to do it that way. Um, I guess you could if you wanted. Uh, electricity should be fine there, but they might have some trouble with water. Uh, maybe they'll be okay. Maybe I'll just run another one across here just in case. There we go. That should be fine now. Okay, uh, so we can also build garbage and stuff. Landfill or incineration plants. So I don't like landfills. Uh, it's the only thing I have option to do though. So I guess I need one of those. Must be placed roadside. So yeah, we want to put it away from residential areas because they produce pollution, obviously. Because they're garbage. Uh, uh, I think I want to probably put it over here near the... Huh, the Joy-Con is vibrating as I, as I, like, snap to different spots. It's interesting. Uh, there we go. Okay, so, there's now a landfill over there, which is gross. I can make a medical clinic, which I'm going to put somewhere near the citizens that need healing. So, somewhere over here, probably. Yeah, I don't understand what the vibration is doing. Uh, the right Joy-Con is vibrating now. It was the left one earlier. I don't know what it means, like, at all. So, <laughs> um, hmm. Yeah, if I put this just over here somewhere. Healthcare for everyone, yay! Uh, that should heal people up a bit more. What's our capacity now? 100, awesome. Uh, and we can make a school as well to educate some people. Uh, I'm just gonna put it here next to the, next to the clinic I just made. There we go. Uh, if we look at the capacity now, it should be, yep, excellent. Nice and high. Uh, we unlock better schools later, but we haven't got them yet, so we can't do things like higher education. Just elementary school right now. Uh, they building up on these industrial zones? Yeah, it looks like it. it looks like they did want those, so it's good that I satisfied the demand. <laughs> um, but yeah, you get the idea of the game. It's very similar to SimCity, if you've played SimCity, uh, but between the presentation, which is really, really nice, and all the different details that this game has, I think it is a better game than most of the SimCities. Especially the newer ones, because they kind of went off the deep end, because EA exist. <sighs> but yeah, this is fine. <laughs> this is good. Uh, so we've got a residential zone over here. You can see everyone's just sort of chilling. You can see our population's going up, we're making a profit. It's a bit smaller than it was earlier. Uh, I assume... I assume there's just, you know, more upkeep and stuff going on, but we're still profiting, so it's okay. Um, kinda wish we could do this communally rather than, you know, having to profit from everyone in order to build anything, but, you know, whatever. We are losing money. <laughs> oh my goodness. I don't know why, maybe I placed too many roads or something? Possible. Alright, oh, the landfill there. Uh, let's see, let's see industrial zone. A little bit of demand. See-through plastic jackets are in fashion, no one knows why. So there's a couple of random details like that that don't have anything to do with the actual gameplay, it's pretty cool. So you can see all the roads, which is basically the background of your city, get lit up with these little lights all over the place. So you can see what's going on at night without too much trouble. Yeah, we're still losing money, so I might need to adjust something so we don't do that. Economy, what's going on? Expenses, electricity, water. Uh, health. Okay, so between everything we're doing, we are just losing some monies. Maybe if I put in some more residential areas so that people buy a house? I don't think there's enough demand, though. Some more housing around there, maybe? One of the problems is that of this um, this game design is it encourages you to put stuff all around the roads, and then you haven't got room to put more roads in because there's stuff all around the roads. 
uh, limited amount of commercial, so we can put a commercial here and maybe here. They should already have water and power because they're close to other buildings. Shouldn't have too much of a problem with that. Uh, okay, so yeah, they're building up a house over here, so someone clearly did want a house in that area. Is that a house, or is that... No, that's, um, that's commercial, actually. So there's a house over here being built. You can see the little scaffolding being lowered as the house is built. Still losing money, but we're about to start gaining again. We're very close to being okay. Uh, you can see that there's different kinds of zones you unlock later on. We haven't got them yet. High density zones, you can get offices, but not yet. That's interesting architecture. Looks like they've got like a carport underneath the house. I like it. It's like, is there a solar panel on the top? Looks a bit different from a normal solar panel, but maybe. I hope it's a solar panel. Uh, I don't know how long I'm gonna play this for. Um, obviously, you know, this kind of game just goes and goes and goes, so I'm not gonna play like an entire game of City, City Skylines because I don't even know what that would mean. Uh, but I'm gonna you know, hang out for a little while. Uh, watch out, there's someone driving there. Don't cross. <laughs> Stay safe. Wow. Oh my goodness. Uh, let me see. You can see there's little shipping containers over here and a very cute car. Look at that. New buggy. Oh, no, Raymond Blackwell. Look at that car. It's got little flowers on it. I love it. And this one's like a vintage car or something. It's a Jeep. And over here we've got... It's not the Jeep. They just have different colours. Okay. So you can just look around and look at everything in the city. It's a lot of, lot of little fine details. It's a lot of fun. Making money again, so that's good. That house is nice. Looks like they have a little bit of balcony. Yeah, that's, that's nice. I like it. Um... I feel like there should be more than one house on that block because, you know, one house to an entire block seems a bit excessive. It's like a really, really big house. Um, like this block's about the same size and has two houses on it, so... You know, I have... I've, oh my god, here's another one. Look at that gigantic house. <sighs> Shocking. <laughs> You can look around and see all the different houses people have, and you can head over to the commercial district and see the different shops and things. Quiet corner shop. That's a big quiet corner shop. This one's a. Oh, it's a drugstore. Why does it have a burger on the front? Is the burger a drug? <laughs> hmm. Uh, that's a general store there, also with a burger on the front. That one makes a bit more sense, I guess. Here we have a restaurant with some parking out the front. I'm glad they have. Uh, disabled parks. I don't know why they have disabled parks on this side as well as on that side near the store. I'm not sure what they were thinking. I think, you know, make them close to the store so people want to walk as far if they happen to be disabled in a wheelchair or something. I don't know. Um, it's a bit silly. There's a little motorbike there which I'm trying to look at, but it's really, really small. Oh, it's a scooter. It's cute. Uh, there's like a cat or something. Is that a cat? No, it's a dog. Look at that dog. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, we can go over here and look at some of these houses. Uh, I think. Yeah, that, that's. Uh, I think that might be two houses, like, joined together, maybe? Let me see. What else is on there? Oh, uh, maybe not. Maybe it's just one. You can see some of these, when you scan it, it actually says there's multiple households. See, that one's three out of three. Uh, even though it looks like one, so. I suppose, depending on the size of the block, it it looks like one little house, but there's actually a couple there. I don't know. That's a weird thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, this is City Skylines Nintendo Switch Edition. I don't know whether this includes like all the content that some of the DLC packs added. There are a lot of DLC packs for this game. Um, it looks like this does have a lot of the details. I don't know if it has all of them, or if it even has, you know, any of them, because this game was already very big before they started releasing expansion packs and stuff. But, um, yeah, it's good. It's a good game. 
Um, the controls aren't bad. It's a little annoying having to, uh, when you're trying to aim at something small, like one of these little cars, or when you're trying to put a road in an exact position. Uh, it's good that you can zoom in, but maybe zooming in a bit farther would be good for this particular version. Just so you have a bit more precision with the, with the, um, with the cursor. Whereas, like, zooming in about this far works fine when you actually have a mouse. And this is the way it worked on the PC version. Um, but yeah, uh, the analogs are comfortable to use. It's the left analog sort of pans you around the city. The right analog makes you, like, moves the camera, basically, so you can look around. Uh, I believe it was Wasted and the mouse on the, on the computer version. So that's pretty comfortable to do it this way. Um, I'm happy with that. Someone needs electricity over there. Do I need to run a power line over there, or are we just running out of power? Okay, we actually need some more power, so I'm just going to go build another wind turbine. Because we are running out of electricity. More green energy for the city. Thanks, Brittany Morgan. Uh, we should be fine now. Production 24 watt. Yeah, that should cover us fine. Should cover everything without too much hassle. It might take a little while for everything to repropagate, though. I don't know what that icon means. It looks like it's a worker or something, maybe? I'm not sure. Uh, how's our landfill going? Is our capacity okay? Zero percent. Yeah, we're doing fine. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, everything healthy? Yeah, health's fine. Uh, we may need to add another school soon. The school capacity is fairly small. Uh, but we're doing okay. We're doing fine. Uh, yeah, our capacity is, is plenty, so we shouldn't have to worry. Um, yeah, I think we're doing alright. What's that icon? Districts. I'm not sure. I don't really remember some of the details of this game. As you can see, there's a whole bunch more stuff here. That's... Cops? No, that's the fire department. I do want that. That one's cops. I don't want that. Uh, you got tr public transport, buses and trains and stuff. Uh, you can... Parks and plazas, so you can put some decoration back in. What's, what does this mean? A lot of buildings are now showing that. I don't know what it means. Not enough workers. Okay, so I need more people, I guess? I don't know. I guess I can build more residential areas to get more people to work here. Like, to be here for working. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> well, I, I can run another road off of the side here, right? Yeah, I can. So let's, let's run, a ro run a road around here. I'm actually using up a lot of money to do that, so I should probably lay off. Um, but yeah, let's let's make that a residential zone here and here, and that should be enough, right? Probably. Uh, I don't know if there's enough water. Uh, no, that's fine. Good. Okay. How's our consumption going? Uh, we're using a decent amount, not too much. Uh, we should have enough electricity production. Another um, wind turbine will be good when I can afford it, but I can't right now, so that will have to wait. I assume now that I've added some more residential zones, we more work is soon. And then these uh, places over here should be fine. Uh, I don't know what the frame rate is in this version. Again, I have, I, I don't know, I've, like really noticed that sort of thing normally. So I don't know if this is running at 60 frames or 30 frames or worse. Um, but it looks fine to me. Uh, nice and smooth. Scrolling around. Uh, is that a donut truck? Check out that donut truck. Yes. Look at that. Uh, you can follow stuff around if you want, like this, uh, by pressing. By selecting them and then choosing the follow option there. Frank's Fish Stick Factory. Why does a fish stick factory need a donut van? That doesn't make any sense. Unless donuts are made of something I didn't know about. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, is that area zone? Yeah, it's just not being used. Okay. Should get used soon. We're building more houses over here, right? Yeah, they're working on it. It's just a bit slow. Okay. Uh, I probably want to connect that back up while there's still a gap. 
over here. Since I can do that without actually destroying anything. Oh no, money. Let's wait a few seconds. There we go. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> that looks awful. <laughs> oh my goodness. So yeah, um, Skitty, Skitty Sylines, uh, Nintendo Switch Edition, it looks good, it looks uh, fairly similar to the version I'd already played on the on the Steams, on the regular computers, uh, which I think is cross-platform, I think that one's on Mac and Linux, but I'm not really sure, maybe it does, I don't know, I only ever tried to play it on a Windows machine, uh, but I imagine it probably runs on all of them these days, most, most uh, most big games are actually ported to all three, which is nice. But yeah, uh, City Skylines in the Switch Edition, it seems to run fine. Uh, it does, like, you may notice it's a, it's a little bit jittery and stuff when you're scrolling around like this. The original version was like that too. I think that's just the way the game is. Uh, I don't think that's a problem in the port, so don't, you know, let that put you off getting the port. Maybe let it put you off getting the game in general. Uh, if it bothers you, um, but you know it's not that bad. I, I'm fine with it. Um, um, I like the the basic overall. I, I mean, I like this game. That's why I got it again on the Switch. Um, it's it's fun. There's a whole bunch of different stuff you can you can put into your city. You can um, get a lot of like mileage out of it. There's a, there's a lot of process. Like, there's a lot of content here. I don't know if this includes the expansion packs, of which there are a lot. There's like ten, I think, uh, that add a whole bunch of different stuff. Uh, I have no idea if they're included in this version. I don't think it mentioned it anywhere. Uh, I might go back to the menu and see if there was an option for that. Just to say... Uh, that's done. And then click back to the menu and have a look. I think it auto saves like every couple of days or something, but doing a manual save is probably a good idea. Let's see. Uh, you can actually adjust a couple of things here. You auto save every 10 minutes. Okay, that's cool. Oh, uh, I didn't see anything that looked like an option for um, adjusting the screen safe area. Oh, I see. You can you can shrink it around in case your screen has weird overscan or something. Yeah, I didn't see anything for buying DLC unless it's like in the eShop or something, which is possible. Uh, let's have a quick peek. Just for the sake of, you know, getting a good idea of what, what this version of the game includes uh, and whether you have to buy more stuff or not. Um, overall, I think it's a good game. I think the controls are a little uncomfortable to do certain things, but I don't think you need to do that sort of precise positioning very much. A, a lot of the stuff in, in City Skylines is, you know, zap this big area with something to change what it's like with the zoning. and You can drop down a building and it just snaps to exact locations, so it's pretty easy. Um, in general, like, there are a few limitations there, but I think I might not be on the Wi-Fi, so I'm not sure this will actually work. It just occurred to me. <laughs> oh my goodness. But yeah, City Skylines... Uh, on the Switch, I would recommend it. It plays fine. Uh, it's comfortable. Um, uh, Curse is a little weird, but the actual gameplay is solid. Um, I get to experience all of it. A bunch of stuff unlocks as your population grows. So I only saw a bit of it in this one, but I've played you know the game before, so I have a good idea as to what most of the other stuff you would get is. And I can pretty much reliably say that I think it's a good game based on that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I would recommend Cities Skylines. Um, yeah, I don't think this is going to work. I might just look it up. For some reason, the Wi-Fi works a lot better on my laptop than on the Switch, even though they're in basically the same place. I don't know. They must, must have better receivers or something. Uh, uh, Cities Skylines in a Switch DLC. There we go. You can see that the backdrop has actually changed to a different city. I oh, okay, it's actually animating. That's nice. Hmm. Okay, so they haven't actually uh, released DLC for the Switch. Uh, it sounds like there might have already been... Uh, 
I think they already packaged some of the stuff into the released version. Yeah, the, the base game plus some of the other stuff was actually packaged into the Switch version, but they're not releasing additional DLC. Okay, that's a little annoying, but, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's a fine game. Uh, it, you are missing out on a bit of content that way, but you would have to buy that content separately anyway, so... Uh, it's up to you whether you think it's worth it or not to, to go for a different version to get that, rather than having this version, I guess. Oh yeah, LNR, a tab left and tab right, okay. <sighs> um, but yeah, overall I like it a lot, and I think it's pretty fun and pretty good, and I think it controls well on the Switch with a few caveats, so I would recommend this game. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and I hope I wasn't too boring, and, uh, woo me. Uh, also, Vimo. Woo me and Vimo. Together at last. <laughs>